This is the team you started with first day of the season. In an ideal world, when everyone's fit, I know you've got injuries, Calvert Lewin, Godfrey, Seamus Coleman, etc. But in an ideal world, forget the names, mm. what type of system and style of play is a Frank Lampard Everton team? This is a game from the weekend where straight away, Tom Davis, for instance, was is had coming off the back of an injury. Andre Gomez is coming off the back of an injury, and we've had a lot of that since I've been there. Alan's coming, getting fit again. So a lot of time that those are the, the two fit midfielders, and, and Alex is not really number six necessarily by trade. So you get kind of pushed in when you kind of go right. I've got those are my two fit midfielders. So how do I support them? Okay, I support them by having five at the back and the centre halves behind them, the two side centre halves that can go in. And, and help us off the ball. So the so structure of the team, like yeah. That. So Ben, so Ben Godfrey's attributes mean he's really athletic. So he's really athletic. So he can come in there, those areas defensively. Now, I think here this was a game against Chelsea where I picked this team. These areas are where Mason Mount. If you can get those there, that's that's Mason Mount's area. That's Raheem Sterling's area. So you, when you're trying to put together a team, and that's probably why I've been quiet. Um, versatile and, um, and different, and we're picking different systems for different games is because you go, how can we stop them? And the idea of this game is that Tarkowski can go in and stop Raheem Sterling or Mason Mount, it was on the right hand side. Ben Godfrey could go in on Kai Havertz and not let those players receive between the lines and turn and control the game. So I think the, the back three has certainly um, given me. Um, the possibility is to kind of feel like I'm getting the best balance out of the team. Mm. It helped us defensively in the running to staying up last year where when we were under pressure you feel you know you've got more numbers defensively in the box where you go you've got your three centre halves and you feel like you're, you're much more stronger. And then in, the, in these three players up front we're playing with, uh, with Anthony Gordon plays because again Dominic Calvert-Lewin who's our big reference is out. So again when you're putting the team together you kind of go right well I, I, I know I need mobility in these players and speed and you go okay speed, 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 mobility. Dwight's just come in but can take people out of the game and carry the ball up the pitch. So you just get understanding of what your opponent is. And so in this game, it can be Chelsea. And you kind of go, OK, lads, we're going we're gonna to be so compact. We will spend a lot of time maybe in central areas of the pitch where we just have to go, OK, we're going to stop those spaces I spoke about. We become a 5-4-1 when, when we've not got the ball. Anthony, I know it's not your position of, of, of in your head of where you normally play, so used to playing here, but how can you give Thiago Silva a problem when we get the ball back? Mm. And how can we look behind? Cause Is that when you want them, as soon as you win it? As soon as we win it, we're going, OK, can you, you three, can you do that? And actually, Pat, because of your attributes, can you do that? And Miko, can you join in? So we're not going, we're just going to retreat here and go, Chelsea, do, do what you want to us, because mm. it's going to be a long 90 minutes, and yeah. in the end, you're going to struggle. But when you know you have those abilities there... So in, the end, in possession, yeah. that's what you want it yeah. almost. So in possession, people talk about you know a back three, you call it a back five, and you go, in possession, you have to start considering it's a back three. And the other thing you want to do when you need stability against Chelsea to, to stop their, their counter-attacks or to make sure that you're nice and um, secure in terms of teams is that when you are getting the Mikalenko, if I can get him up there, when you are being aggressive and you're saying, if, if my right wing back is crossing and I want you three to be in and around the box and I want you to be making the box, I also need to know that I'm going to my team, all right, you lot, you get out of some, some coverage. Condense the, the game and press the game. You have to be able to press the game. And that, that, that's not what the game's going to look like against Chelsea for 90 minutes for us. Mm. The reality is a lot of it might look like that. But in terms of when you ask me what my style is and I want to play at Goodison, you can do it with a back three where you can go, when I see that and I'm thinking about what do I want my team, I want them to be crossing because we, haven't got, we didn't have Dominic at the weekend. But what I will say is that if, if we've got, Miko's got to arrive in the box damari has got to arrive in the box. If this is Dominic calvert lewin you're going, that, that, that area there, Dominic, the, that's where your goals are. That's where your goals are. Excuse my circle. But, you know, and then you kind of go into to Dwight, can you be arriving? So you end up getting this kind of nice coverage and there. But this is so important to how you want to play. Lock, it, lock in the back because, door. Yeah, because the, the, if you're going to say, can we cross, can we put pressure, the counter-attack is the killer for you. And if these two sixes, as you call them, can be ready to, to pounce on counter-attacks, then you go, OK, we sustain attacks. And what does that look like at Goodison when we're sustaining attacks? That means the crowd goes up, wow, and yeah. they go up, Hard and they go up, play. and then you stay in that half. So that's like the, the, the attacking idea if you're playing with a back three. And, and the other thing for me with a back three for us is that we're big, mm. big, big big, solid, if Dominic's fit. Dominating big, the solid. boxes. Yeah, and I, and I think it's important because something we really learned from the running last year is that as much as this part of the game is important, that's important. You know, and we had some decent performances last year where we played quite well and, and you go, but we lost 2-0.
because we couldn't finish and we conceded two goals. So we actually got an, an element of solidity about us and we said, OK, can we be effective in both? It's all the greatest teams, it's the same yeah. story.